Hey there CNCers, we've been getting a lot of questions about the 48 extension kit for the long mill. So I tracked down Big Cheese Andy and mechanical engineer Daniel to get some of those questions answered. Let's check it out. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell to get all the latest and greatest content from CNC Labs. Scott here from CNC Labs with Andy. Hello. And Daniel. Hello. We're just answering some questions about the new 48 by 30 extension Mark II. So, Andy, can you give us a quick rundown on some of the upgrades? Sure. So, a lot of people were asking to be able to extend their original uh, long mills or um, the Mark IIs to be able to fit larger pieces of materials. Yep. So, um, basically what we did was to get a longer uh, X-Rail as well as longer lead screws and a couple of different other hardware pieces to be able to extend the width of the, the long wheel to have a working area of 48 inches in the X direction. So people will be able to take uh, sheet material and pass it through the middle and be able to cut full sheets. So there is a full 48 inches between the rails now. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Daniel, what were some of the main challenges with creating a longer, wider long mill? Yeah, so obviously with a, a much wider machine comes challenges of rigidity and getting the much bigger lead screw here. We've gone from 8 millimeters now to 12 millimeters. And with that, of course, comes all the other changes in like uh, the couplers, whatnot, yep. the Delrin nut. So everything's just been beefed up to allow us to, to do this. So our new extrusion design that is used in the Mark II machine overall is about 50% more rigid in our testing. and It has allowed us to extend our machine by this amount and still maintain great cutting performance and great rigidity and whatnot. Uh, Andy, what will the extension kit come with? Uh, so there's gonna be a couple variations of the extension kit. Um, so you can either get a full 48 by 30 machine. Yep. So if you're getting a long wheel for the first time, then you can just go straight to that size if that's what you want. If you're a current customer uh, with the original long mill, so the long mill Mark I with the angle aluminum, you can uh, get the extension kit, um, which comes with the rail, the lead screws, the gantries, and extra hardware to attach it to the current rails that you have. Or if you're a long mill Mark II 30 by 30 uh, user, then you can uh, use the same kit. Um, if you have a long mill Mark I, we'll, we will be developing an adapter system so that you can use the original X and Z gantries. Okay. Or if you have a Mark II, you can use the, the same uh, X axis and we'll also have a variation where you can also get the Mark II X-axis because they're cross-compatible too. So we're still working on all the different variations and trying to decide what the best way it is to um, bring the most value and be in extending it also and um, be able to cr be cross-compatible with different generations of machine. Uh, so we'll be providing more information about that down the line. Wonderful. Whatever long mill you have, you will be able to make it bigger in the future. Daniel, how hard will the extension kit be to assemble? Uh, yeah, so obviously bigger, it might be a little bit more intimidating for you to assemble at first, but it really is just about the same down to the components in terms of the order of assembly, whatnot. So the main issues or differences you'll see are uh, the tensioning system we've come up with for tensioning this much longer lead screw, which does require more tensioning different hardware but it's really all the same when it comes down to it if you were able to build the first one or the second one you'll be able to build this one too andy uh, what are the prices going to be for the machines and the extensions 
So uh, currently, we're planning to have the extension, the, the the forty-eight by thirty machine to be at twenty-three hundred Canadian. Yep. Um, the extension kit, depending on the variation, will be somewhere between five hundred to seven hundred dollars. Wonderful. Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. For our American friends, that's eighteen hundred US or five hundred ish US. Daniel, as far as things are going, what are we looking at for timelines? So right now, obviously, we're working on our the smaller 30 by 30 configuration, so we're focusing on that. But we do expect in around June slash July, we'll see these shipping out. So Excellent. get them in the hands of lots of users. So because these new long mills are larger, is there going to be any changes to how they are actually shipped? With the original machine, the 30 by 30 and the 12 by 30s, they all come in one box. Yep. But because these are just way bigger, um, this is going to be something new, which is to ship them in separate packages. Oh, okay. And so that's another thing that we'll be working on with the rest of the team on what the logistics of shipping these uh, products are going to look like. So thanks for tuning in for Andy, Daniel and myself and the 48 by 30 long mill. Check out the link in the description below if you're looking for more information. Talk to you soon. And you want to see more cool content? Check out our website or our YouTube and make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you around the CNC.